Motion Array is a website that supplies creators with basically everything you could possibly need to create a video. From royalty-free music to stock footage, motion graphics, templates, and more. But is the site the right choice for you here in 2024? The company did ask me to review their service, but my opinions are totally my own and I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'll rate each aspect of the site on a scale of 1 to 10. Personally, I don't edit with templates often. It's just not my style. But Motion Array has thousands of different titles, lower thirds, and intros that can be used across all of Adobe's products, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. To me, the most exciting things here are their customizable infographics and animated stickers that are perfect for explainer videos, as well as the hundreds of LUTs available for easy color grading no matter what editing software you use. The presets are similar to templates, but they're more integrated into your actual editing software and provide some crazy effects that work really well in music videos. Here you'll also find some drag and drop transitions and camera animations that fit my style of YouTube editing a lot more and speed up the process of polishing my videos. The plugins take this in-software accessibility up to another level by giving you a built-in menu of effects to be used in your editing software. But I don't end up using these a ton because a lot of these effects are already built into DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, so you kind of end up with, um, well, with a lot of redundant there's certainly a lot more templates, presets, and plugins for Adobe's apps like a Premiere Pro and After Effects, but this is to be expected because Adobe has been much more open to integration than Blackmagic Design. The user interface for these editing tools is simple and straightforward with filters to sort out the assets on the side and a search bar at the top to find exactly what you're looking for. Additionally, each template and plugin comes with instructions on how to use it, which means you'll never be left in the dark as to what your next step should be. Overall, I've got to give them a 10 out of 10 in this category. In my opinion, templates, presets, and plugins are definitely what Motion Array does best. Let's take a look at Motion Array's royalty-free music offerings. This is super important to me. Every creator needs to soundtrack their videos, but is this site actually a good option? Well, the UI here is a little bit stripped down compared to something like Artlist, having just these genre filters on the side and no browse features like themes. You do have the ability to add some songs to your own collections, but there's no stems at all. Overall, the user interface could just use a little bit of polishing. If you go through a couple of back channels, you can find artist pages with a little bio about them, and you have the ability to follow and review those artists, which I thought was weird, but it's unclear exactly what this does, and it seems completely unnecessary to me. The music selection is smaller, but it does sound pretty good, it's just obvious that this isn't exactly what Motion Array is trying to do best. It's not their main focus. I'll give it a 4 out of 10 in music because it's better than nothing. You can certainly get by with it, but it's not anywhere near something like Artlist. Now, where the music page suffers, the sound effects page actually thrives. The stripped down, super simple user interface is exactly what I'm looking for when it comes to sound effects. Location ambiance, transition sounds, and foley like keyboards and clicks are easily searchable and downloadable with a single click. Honestly, the less I can talk about here, the better. Simple is better. 10 out of 10 for sound effects. Moving on, Motion Array has thousands of photos available for both commercial and editorial use. So whether you're writing a blog post or working on a new Photoshop project, this is a great place to source some photos. Many of the graphics are downloadable as Photoshop projects, which allows you to switch around details like text to customize it to your own project or business. And you can filter by file type and supported applications to download graphics that are usable in your editor of choice. I'm not a graphic designer, so I can't really give you hands-on experience when it comes to these things, but the quality looks really good. And it seems like they would be a great starting point for anything from social media posts to to that super big PowerPoint presentation that you have due at work. There's also motion graphics, which are basically animated stock footage. These are video elements like overlays and stickers, and they are perfect for things like explainer videos or just livening up your YouTube edits. I've gotta give them an eight out of 10 here because where the quantity of things like the photos aren't as high as some of their competitors, they're still really good in quality and you can't really ask for much more at this price point. More on that in a minute. 
right behind music and sound effects, stock footage is one of my most utilized assets when I'm putting together videos for clients. There's some really good footage on Motion Array and some footage that is pretty lacking. The UI is very much search term based and you're not given options for downloading raw or log color profile footage. The compression of these files is also quite poor in some cases. When I'm downloading stuff from Artlist or Artgrid, usually I come in with a smaller file size, but from Motion Ray, I've noticed that I'll end up downloading videos that are pretty short, maybe 30 second videos, and they take two to three gigabytes of storage space. It's not really a big deal unless you're really hurting for storage space, but it just kind of makes your downloads take a little bit longer and you definitely want to be sure to purge that footage once you're done with it. I'd say similar to Motion Array's music selection, if stock footage is your main goal and you want the very best, I would go with something like Artlist Max or Artgrid. But if you just need some casual videos for internet usage or lower budget client projects, Motion Array is a totally fine way to go. I'll give it a 6 out of 10 for the stock video. Overall, Motion Array is a very easy site to navigate because they don't overcomplicate things. Motion Array also has an extension for Adobe products, which brings their library of assets right into the Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects interfaces, which is awesome. As for copyright claims, there is no need to link your channel to avoid content ID, but if one false claim should happen to pop up, you can just copy and paste the link to that video, and their site will automatically remove that claim from the linked video. One of my favorite things about the site is that they have simply one license that covers everything from personal projects all the way up to commercials and feature films. There are some photos and videos that are not cleared for these commercials and feature film uses, but they're going to be marked as editorial use only, and there's not many of them. Most of the assets are completely licensed to use for commercial purposes. You can subscribe to Motion Array on a yearly or monthly basis, however, it is much cheaper to go with the annual plan, it saves you over $100. So if you start with a free Motion Array account and see that you like it, you like their assets, you like using the site, then I would say just jump into the annual plan, it'll save you a bunch of money. Overall, Motion Array is a great option here in 2024 for creators who want everything, all of their creative assets in one place, and they want sort of more of a budget option when compared to Artlist Max. If you haven't seen Artlist Max and you do want some higher quality music and footage, well, you should check out this video over here where I go over that site, which is more expensive, but also really awesome.